Hi, this is going to be a tutorial on how to use trap code uh, particular. I'm using version 2.0 to make the uh, Smallville run effect uh, with the displacement and all that pretty much how I do on my Smallville run effect on YouTube using the echo effect built into After Effects. If you don't have trap code, um, then just go to that tutorial, the new Smallville run effect. Uh, it's a couple, few parts long. Uh, this one might be just as long, shorter. Not sure even what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go through and just show you how to use it and load it. Um, and I would go probably watch the other run effect tutorial first, um, just so you kind of get the basic idea. And this one is more like an advanced thing. Uh, you, it's pretty much works the same way, except you can do more things with it on different type of things like you can do the flying effect I, I while back I did a tutorial on how to do the super flight well you if you have trap code you can also do super flight with the trap code particular rather than the echo and there's less steps involved with it and you can get some kind sometimes cooler looks to it too and plus there is more things depending on how you your scene is there are more things you can do with trap code so let me just try to go through some quick stuff here. Let me see if I can uh, load up a file. If I can find somewhere in here. Uh, poser, I think it was that one. I have so many uh, things in here. It's probably this one. New run uh, poser. Now that's the. Uh, this might be it. Let's see. I think it's it. 87 frames. Yeah, this is the one I did. All right. Um, what I'll do is here. I'm gonna treat this. Yeah, I create these things when I don't feel. Can't really get outside to. Uh, get some footage. Um, I just create little posers, uh, characters, uh, to do certain moves that I want to do to try to test the effects on, you know, so it's pretty much like live footage. Uh, obviously it doesn't have to be a 3D character. I just implant them like he would be a real character onto just a, a standard background. And this is footage. This is just like, you know, if I were to take it out the camera and turn it into a PNG sequence, this isn't like all you know, turned into alpha mat or anything like that. Uh, this is this is actual footage, uh, so that I have to pretty much cut him out and uh, make it work. So, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and quickly, uh, maybe not quickly, but let me get him set up. I'm going to use just the same technique I used in my um, my alternate um, keying method on YouTube. I have an alternate keying tutorial. That shows you how to pretty much take footage uh, that ha is not done in front of green screen and um, get it to use for the run trail. You, you can get an okay alpha mat, not perfect, but you can get an okay alpha mat to use for this particular situation. So um, I'll just try to go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to sk skim to, I made a duplicate of it. I'm going to skim through all the way to the end where the character's not in the scene anymore. And for this bottom one, I'm going to freeze it. Time, freeze frame. And that'll freeze that one. All right, and then for the top one, which is still the character, see the the bottom one is just the blank template now. And then now the top one, I keep open and active. All right, that's got the running dude on it. So now what I want to do is go to effect for the top one. And let's try the, this this way first. And hopefully that'll work out for me. Uh, channel calculations, and we'll set it to well. We can leave it like that. I'm gonna set my mode to difference, and uh, we'll leave it, set that like that. And for this one, it's gonna be I gotta select a source, the second source, like that. And we have the difference selected. Okay, I don't know if I want to invert it or not. No, we'll just we'll leave it like that. 
Um, we'll just use the RGB version of it. In my alternate keying method, I usually use the green channel and do it. But sometimes, you know, that may not work right because, you know, what if everything is, you know, what if there's certain colors in there that just don't come out for the key? So it might be better just to go with RGB, right? And what you can do is throw a tint, go to color corrections, put a tint, and then you can just, you know, either put it before or after it, uh, obviously before uh, after it, and then you'll get the grayscale. You know, basically it's it's since this guy's running in the scene and the rest of the scene is stationary, it's creating a difference. It's using whatever is different in the scene and kind of giving it somewhat of an alpha mat, somewhat, sort of keying it out enough. But as you can see, it's not going to work as an alpha mat because, you know, he's kind of in a grayscale, like an inverted kind of mode. So what I'll do is I'll add a equalize to it, and that'll kind of, you know, automatically equalize that out. You know, depending on your scene, this could work really good if you have a high-quality camera and stuff. This could work really good in the first shot just by adding that. But sometimes, you know, you're going to get little, you know, you'll have like black dots and stuff like that in it. So it helps to add a median, a noise median to it. Um, so I'm going to go to noise. And I'll add a median to it and just bump this up. I would bump normally bump this up until it kind of smooths some of those black cutout areas out. Let's see if this one actually does have it. I don't know. Turn it out off. Uh, if I just try to show you an example. Wait, maybe there. Yeah, of course. Wait, I got a little bit on the foot there, but you know, normally on regular footage with all the noise, camera noise and stuff like that, you'll see more of that. So th what what will happen is the median will pretty much kind of take care of that and fill that in. And it doesn't matter if it softens it out a little bit. That's not a an issue because you don't really need this super perfect um, alpha mat for it. It just has to be somewhat, you know, so you can get something from the character to use for the run trail, but as close to possible. Even if you, I mean, normally you would have to hand mask this, you know, the whole character running, and that would take forever. But if you can get away with doing this, and possibly if there's a lot of things in your scene that are messing it up, you can hand roto, you know, some other frames just to help out, you know. But this will definitely get some of your frames to where you can use it to where you won't have to uh, mask it uh, hand roto everything so you know it's a real pain in the butt but that's the only other way is to hand roto every single frame to cut out your character if you were doing it in a non green screen or blue screen environment alright so we have uh, you know a, a perfect alpha mat we can go ahead and use that uh, like I said, it probably won't be this easy if it's real footage, um, unless it's a high-quality camera, HD camera, and your lighting was pretty good and everything. But um, you should be able to get a working uh, alpha mat from it. Okay, so we got the alpha mat. Now what we need to do is we'll just go ahead and, since we already got that set up, and he's perfect and everything, we can go ahead and pre-comp this. We, what we might want to do is just, now we'll leave that. Um, thinking if we should no, we'll just go ahead and uh, we already have the file up there, so mm, poser run. I'll, I'll just go ahead and make a pre comp of it. I was just trying to think of any shortcuts. Okay, so this will be we'll just call it um, pre comp one, <laughs> just leave it like that. So that's our pre comp of him. All right, now what we could do is take our poser run and bring him underneath. And now we want to kind of make a cutout of him. So what we'll do is, oops, on our poser run, we're going to go to Luma. This first one here, Luma mat. Now it's going to, everything in the white is going to be cut out of the scene, right? So if, if this was turned off, because we're not going to, this isn't really used, this isn't turned on, once you turn it into a track mate, it turns off. Okay, so now we have our reg regular footage, right? And now if we use this as our track mat, as a Luma mat, it's got everything that's white is going to be cut out now. So as you can see, you know, he's pretty much keyed out now of the scene. 
but we have a little bit of a pr issue that's going to kind of affect